hey, 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 what's going on? Everybody's wearing white in winter. Where are the fashion police? Did they go on vacation? Oh my God, I cannot believe it. What is going on? You got people wearing shorts, flip-flops, thongs. They're committing all sorts of faux pas. Hey, do you know that when you bend over, I can see everything, including that thong? Hello! I woke up one morning and everyone in Hollywood had lost their common sense. So I am here to put common sense back into Hollywood. One vlog at a time. I'm Lydia Nicole, your common sense mamita. Today, we're going to be talking about whites in the workplace. White clothes in the workplace. White was banned after Labor Day. Unless, of course, you're in one of the following categories. You are rich and can pay for those astronomical cleaning bills. You are rich and want to blend in with the snow. Or you are in the spiritual profession. Like psychic, espiritista, santera, or maybe in the psych psychiatric profession. The no whites ban is so deep that even the medical profession has gotten on board and they wear colored scrubs between Labor Day and Memorial Day. Let me school you on five reasons why whites are a no-no in the workplace. I mean white clothes are a no-no in the workplace. Number one, it makes people very uncomfortable and it makes them feel very inadequate because they would never dare wear all white to work. Two, it comes off arrogant or puritanical. Three, it makes people think you're going to a wedding. Are you going to a wedding? Four, you cannot afford the cleaning bills. So stop perpetrating like you can. Number five, it makes people nervous and paranoid and they start thinking that their pens could explode all over you or their dipping sauce might splash on you or their coffee could splatter all over you and leave a horrible stain. So now that you know, put away those whites until after Memorial Day when they become legal again. Well, that's all the common sense I have for you today. And please, till I see you next time, hashtag keep it common. If you have a good story about someone lacking common sense or you just want to out yourself, share your story with me on Twitter, Facebook, or email. And if it's good enough and I use it, I will send you a Common Sense Mamita t-shirt in your size.